guys are looking for some cheap FIFA 20 coins, head over to u7buy.com. You can buy coins off the website. You can also buy players. So if you wanted Messi, you could buy him off the website. Make sure to use code MUZ at checkout for 5% off. Yes, lads, and welcome back to a brand new video. So, EA have released this milestone, this Bundesliga milestone. When I first saw it, I was like, eh, not bad. Not too bad. It's from a 74 rated to an 86, which is interesting. Obviously, these cards can get upgraded as well. I did this in about 3 hours, 15 minutes, but... That was one of the worst FIFA sessions I think I've ever had. It was torture, bro. I, all I'll say is I don't want to keep complaining about this last patch, but this last patch was one of the worst patches I've ever seen. Shooting's worse than ever. I, literally, I think 90% of the goals I had to score were sweats, like just open goals, because I couldn't score a one-on-one. -on -one. I think I had like nine one-on-ones in one game and didn't score a single goal. It was horrendous. So, horrendous experience, but we finally got him. He's called Verse Trate or something. Verse Trait. If anyone's Cologne or Belgian, let me know. Uh, but let's have a look at his stats. I've not actually looked at his in-game, so let's have a look. We'll try him at CDM. We'll try him at centre mid as well. High, high work rates, which he might be a nice centre mid then. Five foot nine, three star, three star, which is not the best, but it's not too bad for a centre mid. Wow. Is this centre mid? Also for a CDM, very good. But look at those, like the agility and balance for a CDM. Saying he's five foot nine as well. Very, very good pace for a centre mid or a CDM. Very nice passing. Reactions is a little bit low, but bro, this is a sick card. Defensive stats are actually kind of low. I'm thinking, I don't know what you guys think, but I'm thinking maybe a Guardian. Let's have a quick look on Footbin, see what other people are saying. Um, there's a recommended chem styles that people vote on. People are saying Shadow. I don't want more pace than that. I don't really believe in much pace. I don't think pace matters that much anyway for, well, this FIFA anyway. Um, an Anchor. I don't really want a pace upgrade. I don't know what you guys think. Powerhouse. Let's have a look at what a Powerhouse does. Powerhouse is passing. I don't really care about his passing. His passing's good enough. For me, I love a Guardian on him. Get the um, agility fully topped. It, or he doesn't touch his reactions. Um, What touches his reactions? I want to get his defending and dribbling. But the thing is, it doesn't touch his reactions. That's the only thing. If anyone's got any recommendations, what you guys are going to go with him. I just think Shadow's ridiculous. Like, why do you need 94 pace for a midfielder? Um, Maybe an anchor. Anchor might be the best. I think Anka might be the best. But if anyone knows a, a chem style that will boost, maybe he's dribbling up a little bit more on his reactions, um, do let me know. So for now, I'll keep him on basic. But if anyone's got any recommendations for that, that'd be sick. So I'll sh in fact, I'll have to make a team with him. Um, I'll make a team now. Uh, but if you could drop a like on here, boys, we'll go with 50 likes. Drop some if you're new. L let me know what chem style you're going to use on him. Like I said, let's go jump into game number one. We're playing him as a f CDM in a 4 2 3 1. So let's see. Okay, boys, I've just put together a little Bundesliga team. I don't actually usually, usually use Bundesliga teams, but I wanted to get him on full chem, so I've put together this team. We'll be playing a 4-2-3-1. We're, we're going to have to play Hakimi at right mid. He's actually not bad, Hakimi, to be fair, uh, other than the weak foot and skill moves, really. But Perisic is nice. Coutinho is very nice. And then let's see how this guy plays. So I'm looking forward to seeing how he plays. Next to Kimmich as well. This Kimmich is unreal. So let's see how he does in a 4-2-3-1. Okay, boys, let's see how he is on the ball. Blue boots, no pink boots, which is a shame, but a hey, blue boot turned very nice. There he is. Verse Trate. Nice bit of playing to Coutinho. Spaces up and up down the left. We're going to use that as bait. Verse Trate. The more attacking of the two between him and Kimmich. We're, we're bringing him forward a bit more. To Werner. Ooh. That might be the luckiest bounce I think I've ever seen on FIFA. Hakimi! Let's go, man. 1-0. Where are you haters at? Where are you haters at saying, why, why is Hakimi playing right cam? Hakimi's actually pretty sick. Crafted him for free not long ago. But first off, some first strategy turns so nice on the ball. So nice. Um, if you like your agile centre mid slash CDMs, like I always say, I can only use Agile Sentiment slash CDMs this year. Can't use clunky players like Fabinho and stuff. I actually had Red Fabinho 86 and I put him in the 86 upgrade because I just don't like clunky CDMs. So having an Agile one is so handy. There he is, verse Tratter. Can do the basic skill moves as well. Can do Ronaldo chop. Heel to heel flip. Three star skill moves is fine. Verse Tratter under pressure. He's done well. See what I mean? Like the, the agility. Fabinho would have been struggling to turn there. He's done well in tight areas twice there. Proud of him. But 
First Trate. I don't know what he's shooting's like. Should we have a dig? First Trate! I don't know what he's shooting. Wait, he's finishing. Oh, he's finishing 57. 77 long shots. Yeah, I can tell. First Trate. Well played, bro. Mopping up nicely there. Coutinho! Oh, the fake. He's one to watch Coutinho, man. He's dirty. Very dirty. Give him some... Is it respect? Oh, no, we don't have respect. Oh, I think I've got the robot on this account, actually. But that all came from uh, versatility, whatever the hell he's called. Um, with the mopping up from, from that, well, that was nice. So Coutinho with a beautiful finish in the top right. Love it. Coutinho's dribbling, man. I should have dragged back the whole way. Anyway, boys, that is half time. So far, very impressed. Not put a single foot wrong, really. Uh, very nice on the ball. Won a few tackles as well. So, happy with how he's played so far. So, for the second half, we'll play him as a centre mid. We'll play him as an outside, like, box-to-box -box centre mid. Uh, versus Tritt. So, we'll put Kimmich in the middle. We'll go Hakimi. At, Hakimi at centre mid, by the way. He's sick. If you've got the 82 Hakimi, I recommend it. Uh, and then we'll go Perisic up top with Coutinho at cam. So, that's what we'll go with. Try him as a box-to-box -box centre mid. Let's see how he does like that. Quick one, two. To Perisic. I was actually not to him, but we'll get away with that. Perisic. Beautiful. Off the bar. We'll come back to Kimmich. Werner. Done well. Perisic into Versatrit. Versatrit picks out Perisic. And this should be the goal. It is not. We should be winning this by a couple more, man. Break down the wall of China. It's Giovinco. Wall of China, bro. Davidson Sanchez and, and uh, just normal Joe Gomez at the back and I can't get past him. There it is. There it is. There it is. And that is game. Let's go, man. Do you know what? trip. Been happy with him at centre mid. I've not seen loads of him. He's just done the simple things well. If he's ever under pressure, his dribbling starts are great so he can just get around him. So I'm happy with how he's played so far. Bro, Davinson Sanchez and Joe Gomez are the most unskillful defenders you ever have to use. I don't know if you know what I mean by that, but literally all this kid does is, is just sprint at me. And he, he just barges me off the ball every time. Ridiculous. I can, I can barely get past him. Oh, we've done him. Oh! Coutinho! Bro, Coutinho's dribbling, man. The flip-flap away from Davinson, then the scoop turn away from the next player. That deserved a goal. Oh, that was nearly sick. Big up. Giovinco. Can't get past Joe Gomez. And there we have it, boys. We do end up winning. We should have won by a lot more there. But versatility, whatever the hell he's called, versatrate. I think it's versatrate. Versatrate. I'm not too sure. But very happy with him, boys. As expected, you look at his stats. He pretty much plays to his stats. Be a very interesting card to see if when he gets upgraded. We don't know when it's going to get upgraded. But obviously, it'd be so sick to know when it's going to be upgraded. If he could tell us, that'd be great. So you got 29 out of 30 passes. 25 out of 27 dribbles. We did a lot more dribbles than anyone, though, if you look at that. Um, tackles won. Tackles won. I, I, I figured this out last episode. Tackles won. Is, is, it's like a broken stat. It's broken because last episode I won maybe like seven or eight tackles. I can't remember what I was reviewing. I won about seven or eight tackles and it said I only won like two or something like that. And I've won quite a few tackles this game. I won at least two with Versa Trade. It's not saying one for some reason. So another thing for a year to fix. Um, but there we go, boys. As a CDM or a centre mid. I don't really have a preference, to be fair. I think he can play both, centre mid or CDM. Um, he might be quite hard to link. Obviously, you can strong link him to, like, Vitzel, but Vitzel's okay on this game. I don't know if people are still using Vitzel, though. So, kind of hard to link, but recommend him highly. If you can do him, and when he gets the upgrade as well, it'll be absolutely sick. And there we have it, boys. The Versa Trait review done. Let me know if you want me to review any other players. I will uh, definitely look at the comments, boys. So, if you could drop a like anyway, boys. 50 likes would be sick. Drop some if you're new. If you have got this Versa Trait, 
Um, let me know what your thoughts are on him. So, anyway, boys, I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.